Hi Darren, uh, welcome to the Code Maven uh, page, YouTube video uh, uh, series or uh, web page of the of the Code Maven. My name is Gabor Sabu. Uh, as you can see on this slide in the beginning, um, at the at at the bottom you can see two two links here. One of them is leading to the Code Maven website, and the one other one is to Wikipedia. This time I'm going to talk about uh, editing Wiki, Wikipedia pages. Now, it might be a little bit strange because usually I talk about uh, programming and software development and so on, but um, I believe uh, that uh, being able to edit Wikipedia pages, being able to know, so knowing how to edit it and, and actually editing Wikipedia pages is uh, both really good for um, uh, helping other people, helping the world a little bit uh, to improve the and um, it can be also very useful for for you as a step in towards being in in the high tech world because it's just uh, learning about a, a specific way of how technology works so if you're looking if you're interested in more um, programming or re related videos or software related videos then you can check out the, the rest of the channel or you can check out the, the website of Code Maven but now let's focus on Wikipedia and specifically you can see there is a link to the EN Wikipedia which is the English version of Wikipedia and um, I'm going to do other videos about other languages as well because uh, the translation part is also interesting but for now let's visit just the English version so I clicked on on the link with uh, right click so it can open it in a different um, window and um, obviously you're familiar or assume that you're familiar with the Wikipedia um, site and then this is the main page and then now you can uh, visit any of the pages uh, there are a couple of not that um, um, most of the pages on, on, on the front page are usually quite sad so let's uh, look for something which is a, a little bit more uh, snow white let's say let's look for for snow white and uh, and um, just to have a page and in this page you can see a, 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 a link here uh, that says edit so it's enough for you to just get to a page if you find something that you feel that it's incorrect there is a typo there is a broken link you have some addition to that page you can easily do that by visiting the page and then clicking on the edit button and it will open you an editor that allows you to actually edit the content of this page and you save it and it's immediately published and uh, if you drill down if you scroll down on this uh, in this page you can see that uh, at um, the subtitles there's also an edit button so you can actually try to edit um, specific parts of the page instead of the whole page at once uh, it has the ad added advantage that if two people are editing so there is a slight issue uh, with editing Wikipedia pages that if there are two people editing at the same page at the same time then uh, really at the same time exactly the same time which is unlikely but can happen then the editing of one of the person is can get lost and uh, uh, in order to reduce that risk you can actually edit the area the the, the section that you would uh, want it to edit and then uh, 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 the problem will occur only if that part is edited by two people at the same time which has even less chance but uh, it's it's really actually quite rare that uh, such a problem can occur in any case if you're trying to edit something uh, it's better to edit the actually specific section but i don't wouldn't recommend that uh, if you're new to this to go ahead and start editing just uh, this page uh, or any of the pages for now instead of that uh, let's say uh, find a, a location in wikipedia that you can edit safely edit uh, that's uh, actually designed for you to play around uh, with it so for that we need to look for the sandbox so first of all we look search for sandbox which will uh, show us all kind of pages talking about sandbox and the various meanings of the word sandbox what what we are looking for is specifically for the wikipedia editing sandbox which is probably going to be at the top here so i click on this and this is a page you can see the address of this page here uh, this is a page that is uh, designed specifically for you to play around to be able to edit uh, the pa this specific page and to see how it works and if you read this uh, text you'll see that um, whatever you put there is gonna be deleted um, 
within a few hours probably. I just played with this, uh, I think yesterday, and I edited, added some text, and it's already gone, so you can uh, you can see that's not, not an issue. Still, you shouldn't put there anything which is copyrighted or or not proper for for a public page. Obviously, it's it's here for you to to play play with this. Um, there's also you can see here it says now that I'm not logged in, so. You can edit the Wikipedia pages without even creating an account, without even uh, logging into Wikipedia. Though there are advantages of being logged in uh, to, to, to Wikipedia, because then you can, uh, uh, later on, you can track your changes, see what kind of changes have you made earlier. But for now, um, we don't do that. We just uh, try to go ahead and edit this page. So. In order to edit this page, uh, I think you can also click on this link, but I'm going to show you the one that uh, you will have also on regular pages. So I just click on the edit link. It shows me um, some pop-up with some explanation. I now skip at that, skip that part, just start, start editing. And here you can see an editor, which is just a plain text editor. At the top, it inserted some message that I guess is, is, is the one that is showing at the top here. So uh, we're supposed to leave that uh, there, and we can type in some text. So stack here. So I just say "Hello world." I just type in, and then I can go ahead and click on the publish changes. There are all kind of other things that you can do, and uh, here you can see already there is the text "Hello world." So that's it, basically, that you need to know in order to edit a page. You don't need to know. I mean, obviously there are a lot more things to know, but uh, this already this knowledge already uh, allows you to go and edit pages. Now, of course, we would like to go ahead and do some more changes to see how other things uh, work here. So, for example, now I can go ahead again and edit the page and uh, type in some other lines. So, uh, the next line. So, I just I typed in a, another line and I come here. And now, this, this time, let's see what happens here. So, there is this box that says Edit Summary. And uh, we left it uh, empty earlier, but we can uh, now just fill it out and say Adding adding a second line. So, the, real, the reason to, to put here some text is to explain to uh, history, basically, is what kind of changes uh, have you made. So, Wikipedia, as you make changes, as anyone make, makes changes, keeps all the versions as they were changed. So you can always look back and see how a, a specific page changed. And uh, having these uh, editing summaries uh, in the in this uh, system allows us to easily, much much more easily, easily locate a specific change uh, than just looking uh, through the changes. So now I click again, publish changes, and I'll see that two two things. That, well, so the main thing that I see is that uh, actually, even though I wrote it in two lines. Uh, in Wikipedia, in the text, it shows up as a single line. And that's because of the, the way the syntaxing, uh, syntax of uh, the Wikipedia editing works. So, how can we add uh, an empty... How can we make it in, in two lines? So, we go ahead and edit again. And then this time, I just add another space here. And um, I leave this um, text box empty now, because it's not a huge change, so I don't have a lot to explain. Uh, I can actually now verify that uh, my change is going to be uh, look the way I wanted. I can click on the show preview and um, just make sure. So now in this preview, you can see that uh, this is how it's going to be look, uh, good, how, how it's going to look like. You just have to make sure that you don't forget to actually save the page because the page hasn't been yet saved yet or published. So I can click on this and then uh, it published the page, so it saved the page to Wikipedia, and now you can now everyone can uh, see this. And as mentioned, um, you actually uh, can see the history of the changes of each page. So in order to do that, you can uh, visit again here at the top, and you can find a, a link called View History. If I click on this, I can see uh, that these were the changes that were made. Uh, this is not really the, the time that I made it, I think. It's uh, 
maybe it's actually the time in, in, in London, whatever. Okay, uh, here you can see this is the address, the IP address of my computer. So if I'm not logged in, it can actually know where, uh, where I was more or less. This is usually not something that really identifies you for a long period of time because these addresses uh, change though it can uh, provide some some idea for for someone looking at who edited it in which location that person was in not who was, who was the person in any case you can see that these were the changes that were made with the same ip address um, these were the three changes i made here you can see that message that i mentioned you the the edit uh, summary that I typed in in this in the second editing and here in these ways you can actually uh, we can actually look at the specific versions as it was in history so you can see that this page actually has a long long history um, when um, all kind of other people were playing around with it and uh, you can also ch see if you can now I selected the, the version the original version, let's say, that was before I started to play, and the version which I have now, and I can compare the selected versions. And here you can see that these were the lines that I added. So you can actually see the changes people make, and you can um, relatively e or easily revert to a, a previous version in case someone makes some bad uh, changes. Anyway, uh, let's go back to the read uh, link where you can uh, where you can read the content of this page, and let's see a couple of more things that you can do with uh, the editing. So again, I click on the edit, and uh, I, now I'm going to show you something that uh, that you also probably will need. You can put uh, two um, square brackets and then type in some text. For example, I'm typing in now my name, and this is going to create an internal link inside Wikipedia to a page where for, where this is the title. So this is basically the title of a page and this is going to be automatically uh, become a link there. Now I publish the changes and as you can see here this, this became a link that points to some Gabor Sabo. This is not me actually. This, there are a lot of uh, people with this uh, exact name and um, you can actually now click on the link I'm clicking it and um, opening it in a separate tab just so you can so that it will leave the sandbox there and now it led me to a page of uh, some other Gabor Sabo he is this, uh, famous jazz guitarist who passed away a long time ago but it's really good music so in any case this is basically how you edit uh, pages there are all of course there are lots of lots of things that you have you need to know in order to um, uh, edit a, a page but this basic information can already help you a lot so if you're reading now the, um, a page and you find uh, some word that uh, i don't know you want, you thought that ah, you would like to link to it um i don't know where where there are lots of links here, so I'm not sure if there's anything here I would like to uh, add, but um, uh, just to show you what, what happens if you click on the edit here, so here you can see the content of the, the text behind the, that paragraph, the early years, you can see this is the how uh, subtitle looks like, you can see this is the link, one of the links, there are all kind of other links here, all kind of other uh, parts, and uh, slowly you can learn all these. Of course, I'm not going to save here anything, so I just click on cancel, and then it will it canceled all my editing. Um, so I didn't do any ed editing here. Um, but that's it basically. So now you can go ahead and uh, um, if you look at if you find a page, and, and first of all, I would really recommend you to play around with the sandbox and uh, see what kind of other syntaxes uh, you might have. Okay, let's let's do one more thing here. So um, if you again edit this box, you can see here all kind of items that allow you to. Uh, mm, so you you don't. So in order not to need to remember exactly the syntax here, you can have all kind of uh, uh, buttons here that can help you. So for example, here I double click on this word next, and I click on B, and it shows you that it basically put in three quotes around it, around it, and that significa signifies uh, bold. Uh, for for Wikipedia, there is also you can also uh, click on advanced, and you will see an, ad, an additional set of uh, 
possibilities to to play around and then if i pu publish this changes these changes now then you can see that this became bold and the same way you can have all kind of editing uh, um, capabilities here in wikipedia so now good luck and if you're doing editing i would really be happy to if you start editing if you commented under the video or or anywhere related to this video uh, and linked to the pages that you were editing because it would be nice to see um, um, people learning from this video and actually making uh, some changes to Wikipedia. So good luck with this.